Hello, I'm Max Belegde. Start again. Oh. Hello, I'm Max Belegde. Start again. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> see how many times I can do it. And I'm George Clark. Oh. And welcome to the ukule- Euclid. Welcome to the ukulele hotline. Hey. We'll serenade you. Oh. Um, we won't. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the useless hotline. Um, it's a hotline, but it's useless. Uh, TikTok wasn't working out for us. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to set up our own little business. We did. Yeah, we did. Um... um. <laughs> and the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, <laughs> disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always be us. It won't. We could have some canny guests on, like. We could. We could have guests on mm-hmm. if you're not from the northern variety of the England. Yeah. Um, but we don't this week, so nah, just us. Uh, sorry. Fucking us. <laughs> get over it, really. How are you? I'm so stressed out. How are you? I'm so tired. Should we get straight onto the drinks then? Yeah, need I, honestly, I need you. a drink immediately before we even before do we you? even start to what discuss. What do you want in your belly? I want something with vodka and like some sort of mixer that's not even mixer. Vodka and gin. No, not that far. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know something. Let's see. I'll have some vodka. Some Russian vodka. Yes, please. Nice. And then, um, by the way, for the audio listeners, George is in the cupboard. Not in it, he's looking in it. Can I, I, I'm trying to say this many times. I'm straight. <laughs> Get out of the cupboard. <laughs> um, can I have one of them yellow hooch cans as well, please? Yeah, of course. No I'm problem. feeling, I'm honestly you so know what? exhausted. I'm going to join you. Oh, that's nice. We can share a can together. VK are sending us stuff as well, by the way. I know I've said that like five times now, but they actually are. <laughs> is this water in here? I think they actually are. Is this water in here? Oh, is there some water left? Just see it off. Go on. Whoa, I'm mental. We I'm like crazy. to water Max. Because he is a plant. Oh. Thank you. Let's bloody have it. Um, you might see here, if you are not an audio listener, that Joe and Casper are hung up on the wall. That's because um, we love them. And the episode was really fun to do. It was a big change yeah. of pace. Fuck you, Talia. <laughs> your, your picture's down. No, I love you too, Talia. <laughs> Um, I feel like it was a big change of pace like people are commenting like oh it was a lot more chilled and I put that down to me not being as much of a crackhead what how much have you just put in there (laughs) George I can't do this with you now I can't do this right now I was watching it happen and I just didn't comment on it until you started laughing oh I shouldn't be able to see how much is in it from here oh this is bad <clears throat> you get your glasses bad. on there, shouldn't oh you? <laughs> oh, I actually need to have an eye test, I think, there's something wrong with me. Isn't it mad that you can get an eye test and they can tell you if you've got, like, a brain tumour? What? You can get an eye test and your optician can tell you whether or not you've got a brain tumour based on that. A lot of opticians... Sure di- that's how it works? A lot of opticians diagnose brain tumours. Do they? Yeah, because they can see I it. I think they're working outside their pay grade, then. Well, probably, yeah. Oh my god, I need this so bad. I know that this is bad, guys, but I've not, I've not like really drank in ages. Cause she's been having hot, I've been unwell. Hot, uh, hot <laughs> lemon <tea>. hooches. Yeah. <laughs> that might actually be nice, right? Cheers. Oh, sorry, I was trying to grab the bit they didn't have a handle. <laughs> you crazy kid? Oh, what do you like? I am mental today. You absolutely just can't handle me. Case. Oh god. <sighs> that is so good. Oh, George, that's horrible. One word to describe that. <coughs> Yummy. Oh, anyway. Get that down your belly. So. Put it in your throat. Oh, God. Put it in, get that out my face. I should not have said that. Get that out my throat. One sec. Come on. So what have we been up to? Um, oh, first I, of all. Okay, I won't answer then, shall I? No. Silly questions. First of all, <laughs> we're doing a live show. Yeah, we are. And we need to discuss this. And tickets are sold out, so... <laughs> I feel, I feel like we need to have an honest conversation with yeah. our viewers and our audio listeners. Yeah, we didn't want you there. <laughs> so, unlucky. So, we knew. Moving on. I had quite a good week. <laughs> Shut up. Um, <laughs> you might remember a while ago, we alluded that something fun was in the works. And that was this live show. We learned about this in January. Yeah. And we wanted nothing more than to do a big thing. Basically, we wanted to test the water, see if we could do a live Dip show, see if we in. want to. What? What? Dip said, our toe in. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said something like Krakatoa then. Like oh, a, of course, yeah. Yeah. When you, that, though. As they all say, when absolutely. you want to start a live show, Krakatoa. Yeah. What's Krakatoa? I don't know. I feel like it's a thing. Mm, I feel like Krakatoa's a oh. thing. Maybe Not we'll Sokatoa. That's... Sock it to them. What's, is that... 
Sokotoa isn't that triangles? Oh, I don't know. No, that's um, parallelogram. No, that's the parallelogram, mate. What? Oh, can we stop? Anyway. Whoa, this is so weird. This feels like we're in a parallelogram universe. Oh, it does. Parallelogram is <laughs> actually quite funky when you think about it. Quite a cool shape. He's like, he's like a square, but he's like... <laughs> that is quite cool. It's a crunk square. That is actually quite cool. He's just a bit... like He's, n- he's not a square. He's just like a bit a like... Rhombus mm. as well. That looks like a rhombus as well. What does rhombus look like? Um, Like a square. Yeah. But that. Oh, how's that work? Oh, so like one bit is smaller than the other. Yeah. So that's not parallelogram then. No. Because they're both the same. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Much what else? What other shapes do you want to know about? Dodecahedron. Yeah. That's 10. You know that? Uh, you know a dodecahedron can be... Uh, no, dodecahedron's actually 12. But you know a... D- oh, a, 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 d- <laughs> a dodecagon... Oh. Is Isn't that the 3D one? No, dodecahedron's the 3D one. Oh. But I feel like... Sounds like a Pokemon. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I don't either. Let's just stop. Anyway, we wanted to do... <laughs> How the fuck did we get there? I don't know. But basically, <laughs> <laughs> we're, do it, we're, we're doing a live show and full transparency right now. I'm being full transparent because I was annoyed. I, I was annoyed. And we wanted to promote the show on, in an episode because that makes sense because then everybody who listens or watches the podcast yeah. will know about it. We'll have a fair chance All to right. buy tickets. And we found out the day before they were going on sale that they were going on sale. So we didn't have a chance to actually announce it in an mm. episode. So all that we could use was our Instagrams and our TikToks. If which anything, this is a sign to go follow our Instagrams. It is, because you missed out. If you're, if you're watching or listening right now <laughs> and you didn't even know that we were doing a live show, which you probably don't, and it's now sold out. So if you're not going... You're a fake fan. You really you don't are. actually care. Um, so I think you should follow all of our Instagrams, everything, because that was where we got to announce it because we didn't get the chance to announce it in an episode. Mm, and what will they be missing out on? They will be missing out on a top tier show yes. that we've 100% planned every inch yep. of at this point. We know what but it's no, going to look like. We're tying it in. We were talking about shra- shapes. We were talking about shapes because we're going to be throwing some on the oh. stage. It's actually a dance show. We're getting Joe, Diane on. Yeah. Um, and we're going to do a 2v2 dance battle. Step up, style. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah. I enjoy that. I really want to go on Strictly. Do you? Now, after Joe said it. Mm, and I just said it. Delete some tweets, I reckon. I just said it to my manager. <laughs> and she was like, <laughs> she was like, I just don't think that you're like brand friendly enough. I was like... What? I can dance my tits off, though. To be fair, I'd probably say that, wouldn't I? I wouldn't say that. Strictly people, if you're watching, I would strictly be Strictly so people. Strictly people only. That's like your sex list, isn't it? It is. Strictly, strictly people. people. That's the one rule. That's me. I would Sometimes be so good. That. I wouldn't swear. I wouldn't do anything bad. I would dance. Nice. Have a good time. I'd make friends. I'd, I'd, I'd have a lovely time. And if I go out first, then that's my fault. Do you know what I mean? I, I wasn't good enough. Would you? How well do you reckon you do? I re- you would put I your think heart would, and soul into it. I would it. do really well. I'm not going to lie. I think I would actually, because I used to be a gymnast. I already said that before. I also have a lot of rhythm, um, if I don't mind Yet saying so myself. It. Yet to show it, yeah, but that would be a perfect showcase. Mm-hmm. And I would love to be paired with Diane, although yeah. that would mean that I'd have to do a lot of the heavy lifting and I'm incredibly weak. So maybe I'd be one of those you'd gay be, couples. You'd be dying. I would be. Um, mm. Maybe I could be one of those gay couples. Gay friendly. Look, we can we can be inclusive. Yeah. Look at that. But you want to be lifted. <laughs> I want to be lifted up. Honestly, I want to be like, they get thrown around. They literally get I twatted. see why you want to be on I'd the show I'd love now. that. Oh, I'd be swinging. Oh God, I got dizzy from just that. I'd take travel sickness tablets Max, before every dance. Max, swinger. That's right. That's what I want to do. But yeah, so sorry about the um, live show. We're not sorry. You're all bitches if you didn't get a ticky. Oh, that's really mean. And no, also, um, uh, somebody, there's an account called Useless Hotline, like unfiltered or something like that. Clip me talking about Strictly and tag um, Claudia Winkleman. I doubt that she has much to say. I doubt that she'll see it. She can't see through her fringe. Nice. I love her fringe. I love her hair. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. Yeah, we're doing a live show, and if Bloody you didn't get tickets, then... More. But I'm just... I'm, what are they going to do now? Do you I cry? Feel, I feel so not, sad that's the only other option. Really tickets sad. are gone. Because imagine if you really loved a podcast, and then they did a live show, and, and you wouldn't wanted to go. And then they just kept mentioning it in the, in the podcast <laughs> that you listened to. Fair enough. But, just click off now, because the rest of the podcast is going to be talking about the show. It's just going to be your, the itinerary for the evening. 
but we got a lot of demand and we got a good idea uh, of the demand uh, yeah done now max We've especially done it. considering that we couldn't announce it in a thing so maybe there'll be more in the future who knows oh. keep your eyes and ears peeled but follow us on instagram because you you missed out that's your own fault yeah. like that's your own fault silly idiot and we would have loved for you to come so it's y- gonna be really fun idiot anyway <laughs> george this is rancid what else has been going on in the world i went to paris oh <laughs> <laughs> that was yeah, that locked and loaded. Didn't even finish I the sentence. Um, What's well, the difference? The question. Go on then. I don't know, but what yeah, exactly. I, what don't I have any because I know you're one question kind of guy. All right. Um, what did you do when you were? I went to Paris. On the run. I went to Paris. We were staying in Paris. To get away from your parents, my mother. I saw Jennifer Aniston. I love me. Jennifer Aniston in real life. <laughs> I did. I saw her. I saw Jennifer David. I did. I saw her in real life. Oh my god, this is quite an interest. So obviously Jennifer Aniston, huge celebrity. Yeah. You don't really think Come on. about. She's, she's, she's getting on. Yeah, bless her. Um, no, you don't really think about people like this having super fans because for me, Jennifer Aniston is amazing. But I'm. I can't imagine that she would have like stands. Do you know what I mean? We Jennifer were, Aniston. Wow, that that's what they were. Mm. So we were there for the Netflix movie premiere of, I think it was called Murder Mystery Two. Hashtag not spawn, just to put mm. that out there. And the film is partially set in the Eiffel Tower, so the movie premiere was in the Eiffel Tower. So cool. Mm. And the whole in the was Eiffel it? Tower. Yeah. So like we watched the movie in the Eiffel Tower. Did the, you watch it? In the Eiffel Tower in Paris with Jennifer Aniston. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, fuck you. Anyway, so <laughs> I, we were me and Andrew were sat there. Nice. Where? And there was this in in the Eiffel Tower with Jennifer Aniston in Paris okay. and uh, watching the movie and with Netflix. And um, there was these this girl and a mum. This girl looks about I'd say fourteen years old. Right. Mum, roughly forty, let's say. Nice. And they had a Jennifer Aniston like fan account and they were doing it next to us like they were going through all the hashtags for the event and this girl who has clearly been taught to behave like this because like yeah 14 year olds are not mega fans of jennifer aniston unless uh, they're moms I don't know, are. It's not. no they're not like this person screenshotting googling jennifer aniston paris going through every single hashtag everything got my story up right next to me so after i posted one screenshotting my story posting it to their instagram going on um (laughs) all of honestly it was psychotic it was weird watching how obsessed they were they were screenshotting pictures of her and just cropping it to her face saving it to the camera roll both of the phone screen with jennifer aniston they both sat there a mother daughter duo constantly going over it didn't even look up jennifer aniston comes in they're both like shaking they're filming her and they're like oh my god oh my god my god jennifer aniston walks in for like two seconds like thanks for coming to the film we we really enjoyed making it and then that was a good impression thank you thank you yeah she does sound like that um but wild like these were mega 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 fans yeah no, crazy well, that's, that's i i couldn't imagine somebody being like that about you about me you, i know we, like no, but it's like it's just a person in it in it that's what i thought when i saw her i was like okay yeah she's beautiful and she's obviously been an actress for ages but i can't <clears> imagine <throat> caring that much about someone that i probably would never meet or even if i did meet them it would never be in a normal circumstance like they're never going to meet jennifer aniston in like a cafe and have a normal conversation yeah. with her they're going to be at a meet and greet they're going to be at like waiting outside a hotel room and she's going to think oh god i'm yeah, going to stay away from they're never people. just going to be friends no but like wow <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah i'm such a jennifer what are you aniston no I don't what, get the job. What, fri- what friend are you? Oh right, okay. I thought it was weird. Right, um, but it's not. What do you mean, a Jennifer? You're, you're you'd be a, a Rachel. Oh yeah. I'm yeah. A Rachel, see, then. you messed it up. Which That's one are you? I, I. I think you're more of a Chandler. You're definitely a Chandler. Well, you're one the, million you're, percent. What's, what's the gal that? Phoebe. Got, 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 I'm yeah. Phoebe. I'm so Phoebe. Yeah. Smelly cat. Smelly cat. Pe- some people hate friends. I love friends. Well, it seems like you hate them. <laughs> Doesn't, just never hangs out with them. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I just think. Like, oh God, that's fun. Like some people are like, you are dumb if your sense of humor is friends. And so I a lot of people think, I say get fucked. I think it's good. I don't think it's. Um, it's not groundbreaking. Wait, television. Let, let me just start this clip off better. I don't think friends is very good. What? I think it's just good. Okay then. Um, <laughs> I would argue that it is very good. Because no, I don't. It's not. It doesn't deserve the hype that it's got. I wouldn't but say. But it's. What hype is that? 
It's not. Nobody's like claiming. Fucking love nobody's it. claiming people that it's like do. the Marvel Cinematic people Universe. Do. People love it because it's so universally people an do. easy watch. People you know, love there wasn't a watch. word for people that you have around you before that show. People, <laughs> Did they invent people, it? People just, <laughs> people just took it from that show. That's how much of a cultural influence it's wow. got. It doesn't deserve that. We used to just call them buddies. Really? Yeah. That is actually mad. And nobody drank coffee before Also, that. do you know what's mad? Like, I'd never even thought about it. You know, Friends is actually just like the first letter of all of their names. Rachel. Indigo. What? Indigo. What? Gunther. It's not. <laughs> what a dickhead. The first, Indigo? the first letter doesn't work. I was thinking Fred. Fred? Who's Fred? <laughs> What's going on? What are you Ross, t- Monica. Nah, fuck you. I can't what? be asked for this. I can't be asked for this. Did I say Indigo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you, you first, you first I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know. I've had a drink. <laughs> right, George. This drink is rancid. Oh, that's all right. Oh, rancid behaviour. Um, what else have you been up to? Uh, anything or nothing? YouTube in? I, I went. I went. Why? I went home from mother's home. I went. I went home from mother's oh, day. Oh yeah, how's mom? Uh, yeah, good. She's loving life. Ah, oh, good. Um, I went for a like a five-hour stint in Wales. Oh, what does it that mean? Can only last that long. Ah, what? Like um, you drove in? As in, got the train in. And I got the train out. Oh. Yeah. Why? Why did you get the train in? Well, get there as quick as I could. All oh, right. What? Out of there as quick as I could. Wait, why did you even go to Wales though? Mother's Day. But you, she don't live in Wales. My oh, sis, you went my to my sister does. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, I'm on board. My mum once, when trying to drive us to Bristol, right, drove us to Wales uh, by accident. Wrong and place, mum. And then we came back. Hope you had your passports. Different country. I don't think we needed them because we said we've ju- we're literally going back. Like we didn't. You don't need your passport if you're going into Wales. Oh, why do you keep lying to me? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is did this? They, did they like? Did you have to have a translator to speak to them? No, and you're not about to convince me that they all don't speak English because I went there. I know they probably do speak Welsh, but they weren't speaking like hi or whatever it is. Or like hi hi or like on the. Is that is that Welsh? Like, on the he. Lock that on? sounds... That's what, is that, what does that mean in Welsh? Lock and key. Lock on the key. Yeah. All right. Lock and the key. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not bilingual. I'm not even bisexual. Unless for the right price. Do you know what I mean? How much would you have to be paid to have sex with a man uh, tonight? Who's asking? I mean, I'm physically asking, but not to have sex with me. Let's say... Nothing then. Like, there's no, there, there, it's priceless. There's you know Priceless? I mean? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Say if no. Um. Say if someone said to you, like, right. Had a briefcase of money. Briefcase of money. Yeah. Ten grand. Would you do it? No. If, if it was just any money in a briefcase, <laughs> like three monopoly fif- money, three pound fifty in a briefcase. <laughs> as long as I get to keep the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> do I get the briefcase as well? Is that <laughs> is that in the deal? I think. I mean, I've already had sex with a woman. Oh, well, no need to brag. So, <laughs> at least one of us has. So whilst it's not my ideal option, if I was like paid to do it, I would definitely do it. Yeah, I, I guess paid, if like, I was paid to have sex with a woman, I guess I would. I mean, no one's going to do that. You'd have to pay to have sex with the woman. I normally do. Yeah. No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to Amsterdam? No, I have, but it was a year nine hockey tour. So, oh, so you didn't go on the red you got to involve in one stick and ball. Hey, ah, okay. high five. No. Um, red Lights District is wild. It's mm. crazy because it's very regulated and it doesn't feel weird when you're there. Even though, like, theoretically, it would feel weird. Yeah. It doesn't because everyone's just like, we're all we're all okay with this. It we, is what it is. We're not allowed to go. You're not allowed? No, I'm not banned. We, just, oh, we weren't allowed when we oh, were in right, year Oh, right, okay. I thought you meant you were no. banned then. No. They made it very clear. They said, oh, it was spillage. Yeah. They didn't say that in the Red Light District. No, they probably they could say that in the Red Light District. But they, they our teachers said to us, have a nice explore around Amsterdam. But, hey, don't go down. Don't, don't, don't go any roads. You, yeah. you you know you shouldn't be. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll get you'll get a bit happy. Mm. You can't wank as a nine-year-old, can you? Not year nine. Oh, I thought you meant like. Oh yeah, of course. Why the fuck am I going to Amsterdam as a nine-year-old? I did think. Why are they letting you go around by yourself? Hmm. Well, yeah, my nursery. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> <laughs> in year five. Day- daycare took me out to. <laughs> 
<laughs> I did think like that's like a very advanced trip for that age, but now I'm 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 on board. Yeah. Oh god, I've really just messed everything up. But yeah. Um, do you know I got the train to Paris? Very fun. Wow, not Have like you, you, you normally Europe? fly first class. I do. Um, I do. I've actually never. When we went, um, we got to go business class when we went to te- Texas. Tesco. Tesco. <laughs> which is <laughs> literally. Like a big Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever been business class or anything like that? No, you're just trying to rub it in. No, what? yeah, I mean a little bit because genuinely the coolest experience ever. Sex experience, did you just say? <laughs> Maybe I did. It's so cool. Like, I, I never thought... A, like a jumper or something then. What? Oh, what? shut up. I did, actually. I was very cold. There you go. Um, it's so cool. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. It is. It's key as well. Um, but, yeah. To, to was that just the, the end of the story? It was, it was yeah, cool. yeah. No, it's so cool. Like Oh, so cool. You okay. can lie down no way. like you're on a bed. Is it a bed? It's your seat that turns into a bed. Right, okay. And um, you get given a quilt. Nice. A, um, like a mattress to put on your seat so that it's extra comfy. Pillows. Nice. Uh, Pajamas. Nice. Wash bag. <laughs> yeah! The there we go! The cameras. You need more antibiotics, son. Oh my God. Well, you can't blame your ass for that one. My ass. Yeah, you said you had bacteria living in your ass, so you I had to. I never, so you burped. Can we, can we you rewind? Said, you said your bur- your burp. Can we rewind the tapes? I never once re- said s- it was living in my ass. <laughs> bacteria. <laughs> was I said li- I had it inside my body. I never once yeah. explained that it was living inside my ass. <laughs> you did say I've that. I've never said that. <laughs> you 100 percent have. I've never roll back the tapes, right? Useless hotline listeners and watchers. I've never once said the words. I have bacteria living in you my are ass. You 100. George, no, I have not said that. It was in my body. It was like in my stomach. It wasn't. How'd you get your stomach? Not through your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been eating all anyway. wrong. Bloody Jesus hell. Jesus Christ. That's how I'm going to get my five a day. I believe you. <laughs> Fruit and um, veg, not men. Oh my God, imagine a melon. Oh, Watermelon up your ass. Couldn't be me. I'm sorry. There's some people that get like, honestly... There's some people in this world that literally just get an arm up there, and I've seen it. <laughs> You've been the puppet master in that <laughs> scenario. But how mad, like, <laughs> they really do, they really do be putting, I mean, good for you, honestly. If you want an entire arm mm. up your ass, good for if you. If you want to become a latex glove, do it. But I just can't think where it goes. Yes. Like, there's so much going on inside that body. Making your way what through the What are you pushing intestines. out of the way? That's a lot to Ooh, deal did you with. have... What was that pineapple chunks? Hmm. Yeah, you could probably get in there. Like, and I don't, I just don't know where it goes. I think good for you, but you don't I know where don't. the arse goes. I don't get where the arm goes inside them, because sometimes I saw it in a video. I saw it, and I was a bit terrified. I was went like up to there, Small inside arms? someone's arm. No, like regular size, Chimpanzee Big, arms. probably bigger than mine. Chimpy. Yeah, hmm. up inside someone. And I think that's punching your lung. That's not safe. <laughs> like, if I'm getting my lungs punched out during sex, I'm gonna really need to go to hospital because I'm, that's I'm not I'm not okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's very true. I I too would not like an arm in my ass. Hmm. Much to think about. A member of the army. My first boyfriend was in the RAF, and then he quit it to be with me, and then we broke up shortly after. Right. Did you only want him because he was in the RAF? No, I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> I didn't even know what that was. Oh, I love a military man. <laughs> I was literally like, that's weird. And I Googled him um, <clears throat> recently, and he's a policeman now. Oh. Which is a bit of an ick, really, isn't it? Why is a policeman an ick? I don't know. It just gives me the ick. I just you want think, to show like, his truncheon? Walking around and you're bloody like with your bat on. I don't know. It just gives me a bit of an icky vibe. Why is that an ick? That's literally their job. I know, but I'm like, come on. Like, I just know Come on, that just make TikToks instead. Yeah, that's literally, that's cool. so much better. <laughs> that's, that benefits the world so much more. Um, but yeah, shall we get on with our job? I uh, feel like we've... Can do, unless you've got any... I honestly have nothing more to give to this burning conversation. internet news. Burning internet news. Um, I don't know, I can't think of anything. Can you think of anything? But did you want to talk about the... You're scaring me. The alphabet situation. Alphabet. Oh my God, George. First of all, 
I would love to talk about this situation because I would just like to clarify. I met Elphaba. Feel How like long this is ago the point was where it? I sit back and. <laughs> When did I meet Elphaba? So I brought... I don't know, I wasn't there. I met Elphaba <coughs> on Halloween of this last year. Spooky. And um, she was so lovely. So lovely. Put me up in Elphaba costume. Nice. She was very just kind. If anything, I could tell that she was like nervous and she was very open about her like feelings and emotions and she was scared and anxious to go to this party that we were going to. And I was like, don't worry about it. I felt so protective of her. I thought like, obviously she's like this young girl who, I mean, she told me she had autism as well. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that must be like a lot to navigate, especially being thrown into this industry in the way that she had because she was basically just going live and then suddenly it took off. I mean, like that happens for most of us, but when you're going mm. live, you're just so much, like I can post a video and I don't read every single comment, so I don't see everybody's opinion. When you're live, you're watching everybody's live opinion of you currently yeah. and that will fuck with you, I'm sure. So I'm at a, yeah, then, and then I invited her off the back of that two hour podcast launch party. Aye. <coughs> and she was lovely again, you met her, didn't you? I did. She was really nice. She was really, like, lovely. She did a song. She did. She sang. She sang our thing. I never mm. thought, like, any anything, of course. <laughs> you were pushing for the song. I was. I, I was like, I was like, come on. <laughs> I was like, let, let, I got drunk and I was like, let Elphaba sing. Come on, this will be great. And she loved it. And everybody loved it. It was, it was, it was so much fun. And now, like, she will message me every now and again. Um, maybe I'll, like, reply every now and again. But I've not seen her since... When was our party? November? December? Mm, yes. Yeah, very December. early December. At the very beginning mm. of December. Early deck. And now she's been involved in so much controversy. Like, I think she, when she, like she isn't, like she lied about her autism diagnosis. From, from what I've seen, um, it's been all over my few pages recently. From what I've actually taken in, I think it was, <clears throat> she... Claimed to, have she claimed to have Tourette's. So um, I didn't know that. Obviously, I didn't then, know that. Yeah, and then the autism diagnosis apparently wasn't actually real, an actual diagnosis. Yeah. It was a self diagnosis. And there's like thing. so many other things <clears throat> as well. And then people have started to make videos calling me out, apparently, saying, Max, you need to speak up on this. You need to do this. And first of all, let me just say this I don't need to do anything that you tell me to do, random person on the internet. I absolutely don't. Second of all, Nice. I, in what world could I have predicted when I met somebody four months ago that four months down the line they would exhibit these behaviours? That's just putting that out there. Yeah. Not physically possible. <clears throat> you can't hold to somebody to that standard because it doesn't make sense. I mean, it the literally doesn't make sense. People that you meet at events, like, and like, she every, was every, perfectly people, nice like, to people me. People might be like, oh, but they're online personalities. You should know what they're like. But the amount of people that you meet at events, like. Like you'll you'll I'll turn up to an event and you'll be like oh do you know this but I'll be like I've absolutely no yeah, idea and then it's with like you. like vice versa. I it's just had seen a few worlds. things of Elphaba, but obviously I knew who she was because I'd seen I'd I'd not really watched many of her things. I'd gone live <sighs> with her a few times before I met her. That was my limited knowledge of her. And then I met her. She was perfectly lovely. Met her again. She was perfectly nice. What, so now I'm supposed to be like. Also, I hate this. I hate this internet like culture that somebody does something wrong. If you go out tomorrow and punch someone's nan in the tit, <laughs> you best believe I will not be making a video saying I do not condemn George Clark punching that girl's nan in the tit. I don't. I disagree with it because mm. first of all, that's a given. It's a bad behaviour that you did. It, I, it, I shouldn't have to speak up on it for it to be for it to be condemned as a bad behaviour. Yeah. Second of all, it has <clears throat> absolutely big fat fuck all to do with me. I, in no way, shape, or form, <laughs> saw Elphaba <laughs> pretending that she had Tourette's and signed off on that and said, yeah, love this, woo, repost, nothing. I've met her yeah. twice in my life. So for people to be making videos about me, and also this this one video that I saw was someone who's like, I hate, I, oh, I love, I love these people on TikTok. <laughs> I, I, guys, I just, I don't want to be in the drama. I just want to, but I'm going to call this person out, this person out, this person out. If you, if you are calling people out, you yeah. want to be in the drama. You best believe it. And there's nothing wrong with wanting to be in the drama. If you like, if you want to be in the drama, get in the drama. Do you know what I mean? Here I fucking am. Here I bloody am. Do you know what I mean? Let's get in the, the drama. drama. Let's get in the drama. <laughs> but don't call me out. And this person also accused me of clout chasing off Elphaba. 
Which, I mean, Alphabet is lovely and is a huge personality on like TikTok, everything. Yeah. But I am in no position to be wanting to. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll say it for you. You get plenty of views anyway in the first place. You don't need to. I just like, for, met Alphabet. For example, she was, what, what the the videos that you made with Alphabet? How many like views would you would you think, like? What, Probably come, a couple hundred thousand, yeah. maybe a million. I okay. don't know. But that is your normal viewership. Well, I'm not going to say that, but thank you for saying that, well, there George. You go. I, th- because I thought I should. I thought I should say that because so. the idea that this person <laughs> is saying that I am, I was, or, or, or I am, and they've also said that Alphabet has been on our podcast. They said that I'm in constant cons. Yeah, this I read the comments and I was like, this person is just lying. This person is just <laughs> bullshitting <laughs> through the teeth, saying Alphabet's been on our podcast. I always um, go live with her. I always do. This. I've not really spoke to Alphabet in a very long time. Like, and when I started to see maybe problematic behaviors on my For You page, I was like, oh, okay, I met this person twice. They seemed yeah. really lovely, but also I'm not going to message them like, how dare you do this? Because exactly. again, do... it's none of my business. In, in normal life, that's just the, the point where you go, oh, I'll take a step back. Mm. You don't, like, yes, like we're online, but we'll, like, I'm not going to be horrible you've, to someone just because like everybody you've met else them twice. is. Like you don't need to. You don't need to come forward and be like. I don't need to do absolutely. By the way, I also um, I also don't like this that they've done. Exactly. I literally have no <clears> stake <throat> in this game and do not have to do a single thing. And the irony of people saying that I am clout chasing off someone's name whilst inserting my name into a video that has about a topic that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> like literally, shut up. Shut up, you are dumb. And um, that's as far as I'm going with that. I really don't have anything else to say on the situation. Ooh. I wish everybody well. What Elphaba's done, I don't bloody know. Um, am I like best friends with her? Absolutely not. I've met her twice. She was perfectly nice to me. And like anybody in this industry who I've met twice and is perfectly nice to me, that's about as far as it goes. Do you know what I mean? I'm not yeah. going to put my neck out on the line and either defend or condemn mm. somebody that... I, I have no stakes in. Like, if you did yeah. it, maybe I would be defending you or, like, d- be more involved in it because we're yeah. literally, like, great friends and lovers. everything. But lovers, yeah. of course. But it's just so bizarre to me that this that the internet works in this way. Like, can you imagine if, like, somebody that we both... If, if fucking um, Arthur, like, mm. like got, got done for being a drug lord or something, <laughs> would people expect me to speak up on it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, unless it's so bad that like they're a mass murderer or something or if somehow you've been thrown into it like yes you... if i had something to do with it yeah. or i was like <clears throat> i don't get it i don't get it i weren't there I mean, pretending I've, been... I've got tourettes <clears throat> i've do been you know silently I mean? scrolling be like oh i didn't know this and from what i've seen it seems a bit i don't i don't agree with yeah how it's been cut. but me I, too. again I, I don't i don't know enough yeah about exactly it like i absolutely do not agree with somebody pretending that they have tourettes or that they're autistic that when they're not. Saying. That just goes without saying. Like I also, I don't need to say that. I don't <laughs> need to speak up on this. It has nothing to it, but we've spoke up on it now. But this is my podcast, um, so I'll speak about whatever the bloody hell I want, to be honest. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's that on that, to be honest with you. Get fucked. I'm sorry. It has to be said. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, George. I can't be asked. Right, let's do our job. Oh, the telephone's ringing. Oh, that's uh, saved by the. That is a great. Saved by the that bell. is great timing. Right, I'll end. end. Nice. <laughs> Hi, George and Max. So I have a content creation question. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be a content creator full time for a while now, and I'm actively posting on TikTok. However, I am terrified of the thought of being recognised in public. I know it's part and parcel, but my question is, is it frustrating or scary being recognised in public or do you just get used to it? Thank you. Part and parcel, what does that mean? Like, it's part of the gig? Yeah, it's just part of it, yeah. Right, okay. Um, I mean, how do you feel about that? We've had conversations before. This well, is a more genuine question. Someone gets recognised constantly. <laughs> you can't leave the house <laughs> without somebody saying, George, you forgot your coat, come back in. That's Normally that man my mom. from the Wanted um, poster. What was that? You're the man from the Wanted poster. Oh, I thought you meant like the band. The band. <laughs> it's that man from the Wanted. <laughs> Sing us a song. Um, no, I. Um, I mean, I don't get it at all. I, you don't get it as a lot. Like, I've been with people that are like get it more than I do, and they, even then, they, it's it's very it's very um, location slash demographic specific mm, very like, like i can 
be in a church <clears throat> full of grandmas. No one's going to give a shit. Yeah. Whereas I can be well, in the back the alley Lord behind that church. condemn you for <laughs> your sexuality. For my that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> he might recognize me and be like, hell, <laughs> not allowed. Um, <laughs> um, no, I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm quite sometimes quite shocked at how often it happens, even, even if it's not as often as like yeah. Jennifer Anderson. <laughs> I don't know why she's coming up again. <laughs> but like, I think I equate like, the amount of people that might recognize me to like followers and then say so i've got like three million followers Whoa. <laughs> thank you um no but then you think right where are those three million people like 50 percent of them are in the uk x amount are in this so like what are the chances that like 100 1.5 million people are going to be where i am when the, there's so many people in the uk do you know what i mean yeah but then i think we forget that tiktok isn't just followers isn't just followers no. and a lot of people that might see you might actually not follow you might never have any like inclination to follow you but might have just seen you yeah and so you can be in some places i mean i've for me it happens a lot on like nights out yeah and i mean that's just it that's what i mean if you go somewhere that's your age range yeah or 18 to 25 you're interested in so like when you went to Pride, yeah, it was yeah. more. That was like cri- when like when, when I was I went in to Sydney, really sexy girl con. <laughs> it was just constant. <laughs> George, George, yeah. please sign my tits. And I'm like, oh, honestly, I've <laughs> just done a pair of double E's over there. Just run out of sharpie ink. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I know what you mean. It is, and um, I think in terms of how it makes us feel. So like when. I, when I gained all my followers, it was during lockdown. So I yeah. never met anybody. I didn't have a single, um, and I'm talking like going from zero followers to a million. I did not have any experiences with anybody. Yeah. And it was on my first date with Andrew that I got recognized for the first time. So I just met Andrew under London Bridge. Um, we were wanking each other up. No, we were <laughs> under having- Under London Bridge. <laughs> under it, yeah, we were swimming as well. Uh, <laughs> it's a very cold time of year. Weird day. Um, yeah, I nearly died. Um, You're really good in the nose peg. I got sepsis. Um, we <laughs> were what on a date. Doing, sepsis? Oh, Sorry. my Carry sepsis. Oh. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> we were having a picnic because it was when lockdown rules were still in place where you couldn't meet indoors but you could meet in a group like outdoors we're in an outdoor freezing cold picnic at london Mm. bridge and um someone came over for the first time and asked him to take a picture of us and i felt so embarrassed but again that was like oh my god like do you know what i mean it was like wow this this is crazy like i felt so full of like love and like like it, it just felt amazing like it really did she's laughing at me but like, <laughs> I, I know that's very dramatic but i genuinely was like oh my god like this I is wild so full of love. i did i was like wow <laughs> and this was in the how does a blind girl know what's in a jar era oh, wow. so they were like how people would used to shout at me how does a blind girl know what's in a jar and i was like that's quite a did weird you have thing a, to shout out. an answer ready to go I would just say like, well, basically yes! she puts these electronic labels on. <laughs> um. Yeah, I sat them down. Um, no, but, and then like, I remember the shift for me because I lived in London and then I went back to finish my degree in Newcastle. Mm. And I'd been on like nights out in London where people had come over and stuff, but it had never really been that bad. Mostly because probably people in London are more used to seeing somebody that's like, yeah. whatever. You walk down the street, you see, I don't know. Buddy. Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, all the time, Jenny. What are you doing? Yeah, loves the Gregs. Oh, she Jenny. does. She does. Yeah. Um, and Gen dog. Then I went to Newcastle. Went on a uni night out, like during the week, and I got mobbed beyond anything I've ever like felt. Like I, I was bleeding on my neck from people trying to grab me for a picture. People were fighting with my friends. Like, who the fuck are you? And they were like, I'm literally his best friend. I live with him. Like, what are you doing? But it's when people are drunk yeah. and <clears throat> in a uni situation where they're out with all their like uni mates and it's nothing but people our age around us, it's going to happen a lot more. And when people are on drugs or when they're drunk, whatever, they lose. I, I describe it as if you meet someone new for the first time, yeah. there's a certain like set of boundaries that you cross. For example, like, hi, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. How big's your cup? Well, there we go. Exactly. Yeah. yeah um and they skip when they're drunk and they meet you as as someone that they've seen on tiktok they skip about like the first three of them and go straight in as if they've known you for years yeah which in many cases can be really nice because effectively they already have an understanding of who you are so of course they're going to be more familiar with you and that can lead to really nice conversations and moments happening but oftentimes when people are drunk 
it means that they're going to come in and be like, way, dickhead, oh my God, let's get a picture, blah, blah, blah. And if I'm there with like my friends or my family or something, or if I'm by myself, I was once in a shop at the end of Andrew's Road in Tesco and someone came and jumped on my back whilst I had <laughs> headphones in. I was looking at like the food or whatever, had two headphones in. This girl came and jumped on my back and I was like, oh my God, think I'm getting robbed inside Tesco. I was like, this is weird. Usually weird this place is... to do it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then she was just like, oh, like Max, oh, I love your videos. Like, oh, do you want to like come and get drunk with us? Come and get, she was like 17 years old. You love my videos. Don't become a backpack. Exactly. Like, right? she, she was drunk and she was like, yeah. come, come and drink with us. We're going to like this school, like we're going to this field. And I was like, Oh my god. We go to this field. Oh, Literally. all right then. Fuck Fine. Yeah, that'll go down well. <laughs> Convinced me. Literally. But, like, that's the thing people think. And I think that's when it gets uncomfortable, is yeah. when people kind of cross the line. I remember when you went to, was it Boardmasters? Mm. You said there was a lot of situations. Didn't someone the like. Festivals are the worst. Yeah. Because not that festivals are fun, mm. but. There's like if you like this isn't saying if you see us avoid us by the way. No, I, we, I I always if you, if you come like over that. like and just be nice. like a normal happy person. Just be normal then, and like, happy yeah. and nice. That's yeah. <clears throat> but um, festivals I say is the worst. Festival is is where you get it the most because people are fucked there as yeah. well. Um, but yeah, I had a weird one where I was just queuing up for a shower, um, and some bloke just took a picture of me queuing up for the shower luckily I had I had my clothes these on <laughs> uh, but I was just stood there with my, it was in a heat wave by the way I've been sleeping in a tent for three days in a heat wave yeah um, I couldn't have done off that off the back of good for you like obviously festivaling in a heat wave um, and obviously uh, and yeah just everything um, woke up was like I need a shower and I was just as you would be mm. just not not in an awful mood, but just drained. Yeah. So you're just not you're not dead. stood there with a smile like a psychopath. You just had a picture of me. I think it was a video actually, just zooming in on me, saying, "Cheer up, mate." Well, what do you mean, cheer up? Yeah, I meant to just be smiling, just in case somebody re realizes yeah. I'm it. Like what? That's the thing. I think where it's a weird, like middle section where we're not celebrities. We're right. not Jennifer Aniston no, because we've not, not done like such credible work that we're put into this category where people know us but also respect us but they they know us but they think that they <laughs> they know us but they think that we are also like them which we are but i don't think I'm making, i don't think i'm making sense here but they think by that i mean like no, they think that we are in I'd, their friendship group i'd say the way the way that makes it different is that if you see someone you know like Jennifer Aniston, yes. we're not saying we're on the same level as Jennifer, by the way. Mm. If you see Jennifer walking down the street, you go, oh my God, I've seen her in films. This is mental. What's going on? And you don't, in interviews and stuff, her personality comes across, but you don't know her for her personality. You don't yes. know her as like including you in what she does. Whereas it, like in with like a YouTuber, a TikTok, anybody in the sort of social world, it's, hey guys, look at this that I've been doing. Look yeah. at this. Uh, you know more about their life and you the reason most of like 90% of the time you follow them is because you know them. their personality. Yeah. And I think people so think that makes that it they, more like you're able to come over. I think yeah. what I meant by that is that people think that they are already friends with us before they meet us because they've seen us so many times. And then therefore this level of comfortability comes that is maybe a bit inappropriate at times considering that we don't know them mm. and we've never met them and we're more than happy to meet them. I've yeah. made, I've had so <clears throat> many amazing times with people like followers that I've met and like I've ended up like going for drinks and stuff like on the nights. I've literally nine times out of 10, the people that come up to me are so lovely, yeah. so funny, so like entertaining. And then there's this like 1% that are really rude or oh, the worst thing is oh my god you want to know the worst fucking thing yeah when somebody comes over and then the friend's like hey the fuck is this oh my god I am i supposed to know the, this I... is and i'm like <clears throat> like sharon i don't know who you are either newsflash i don't give a fuck who you are so don't come over to me <laughs> and say that <laughs> okay literally you don't have to give a fuck about me and i don't give a fuck about you so <laughs> let's leave it at that Can i tell you the worst one i had of that situation Go on. me and my friends went to lanzarote for a little way lad holiday not really the most laddy place to go it was we just had quite a nice time mm. um and we were on the uh, we were in the hotel on the way back no we were at the airport on the way back um and some uh, girl comes up to me and goes, oh, I like your videos, Don't, uh, can I get a photo? And I was like, no. 
uh, how much are you paying? No, I, I said, <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Um, and she was like, oh, I'll, I'll, give, I'll give it to my friend. She didn't say all of this stuff. This is, I'm explaining what happened. She gave a phone to her friend. Um, and then, a f bear in mind, this was in front of our, our gate had just been called for our plane. So everybody on our flight was lined up right next to us. I was literally about to enter our, I think um, we we only traveled with like hand luggage or something. So mm. we got speedy boarding. Mm. So we were going to go into the queue next to them. So we were already walking past the whole queue. And then somebody goes, oh, can I have a photo? Whole of the queue turns, look at me. Oh. And I'm like, oh, this is really awkward. No, it I don't like this. It is embarrassing. And then the girl hands her friend the phone to take a photo. We're there posing for the photo. And the friend has the phone up and then lowers it and just goes, who are you, by the way? And I was like, am I meant to like, what do you want me to say in that what, situation? Do you want me to reply to the Wikipedia article? To say, what, like, what do you my want name's me? George. I do like what do you what do you expect in that? That is such a rude thing to say. Yeah, to I think somebody. I was just like, oh, it, exactly. I, if I, I was I'm out no with one. my friend and they recognised their friend from home or something, yeah. would I go? Who are you? No, yeah, exactly, I'd be like, yeah. oh, I'm Max, blah, blah, blah. I would get to know them. I wouldn't be like, who are you? But they take this opportunity, like this person, their ego must be huge right now because someone's just asked for a picture. I'm going to humble them. And I once turned to, I was with Cat Burns in heaven. Yeah. And this guy, uh, no, this girl <laughs> just came up to me. Of the night? Yeah, yeah. But I was with Cat and I remember Cat <laughs> looked at me and she was like, oh God, Max has gone a bit wild there. Because this girl came up to me and she was like, oh, like, can I, can I get a picture or whatever? And she was so lovely. And I remember yeah. we were about to leave. We were getting our calls. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this boy came up to me. And he was like, who the fuck are you? And I literally, I was at the end of my tether because I was like, I've just been on a full night out. I was so tired. All I wanted to do was get my call. The queue was really long. And I went, I don't give a fuck who I am. And then now I realized, oh, that's not really a good comeback. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like, and guess what? I don't give a fuck about you either. So I was like, so shut up because I've had enough. And then Kat looked at me and she was a bit like, You told that, him. Yeah, she was a bit like, oh, that wasn't really that good. But like, you tried. But people are just so rude. Like, and I don't yeah. get it. I get that they want to like humble us or whatever. Mm. But why? We oh, do you remember, nothing. Do you remember when we went on the ski trip um, and our cars rocked up and everybody was queuing outside in the snow for this Apro ski? <laughs> and they've been waiting there for ages. We rock up. I think oh somebody God, put yeah. on full volume. Um, was it Baseline Junkie? Yeah, somebody yeah. put Baseline Junkie on full volume. I think it was George Bags put mm. on Baseline Junkie, and everyone was going mental. And I was like, "Oh shit, I think we're here." And like nobody was saying, I was like, "No, guys, turn it off, turn it off." <laughs> so I was saying, "Turn it off." I don't want to seem like a cock. Yeah. The doors slide open. Baseline Junkie just blares oh out of God. this van. The whole queue turns to look at us as we then just walk in. As we're this sort of like, like the VIPs there or some yeah. shit, which I hate by the way. I'm never going to do like a club appearance or anything in my life. No, I me neither. I, I, could, I couldn't deal with yeah. that. So we walk past this queue of people who are waiting in the snow. Our roof just rocked up in these oh, like God. blacked out vans. Yeah. Like, oh my God. And then they just started throwing, throwing snowballs, snowballs at, at us. us. I remember. I got hit in the gullet. Couldn't couldn't drink for a week. Oh. No, I um I, I was I got hit in the face and like the the neck and I I, was, I genuinely wasn't angry. I was like, I don't blame them. Like I I like <laughs> fair enough. Like I look like such a dick right now. Yeah. I was like I didn't want. I'm so sorry. I didn't want. I was walking past like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some people were going, <laughs> oh it's him. Other people was going, who the fuck is that? It was, it was a really hard. Oh. happy medium to me as you walk past people going mm. oh, oh, that's oh. the thing it's like <laughs> i would never in a million years be like take me to the front of the queue no i've never i've never any like cool thing that i've ever been offered i've never asked for it or demanded it in no. my life so if i'm like in a club and the person at the front is like oh i like your videos come to the front i feel so embarrassed no, I hate I I because i'm like everybody it. then looks at you like you are the biggest twat in the world and i'm like if that was me i'd think the exact same so fair enough exactly but yeah. I'm like, I didn't ask for this, but I think people will think that we've demanded stuff. I don't yeah. know. People can be so fucking rude. No, but I was like, honestly, fair enough. Just yeah. throw more at me. Like, just, <laughs> st just stand out like a big target. Just do it, please. Oh, it's it makes so me feel awkward. better about being in there. It is awkward. I realised that we just spent about 20 minutes on that one. Oh, well, I've just had an email. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> every yeah. time I do this, I write... I type uh, in, my name's Max Blagdy. How did you not... Know? Have you I told you that before? every other fucking week. Right, I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> I oh, also, that. where are you from? You're from a little town <laughs> near Manchester called Darwin. I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and you never guess so many people know it whenever I tell them I know I've actually put Darwin on the map let's be honest right shall I try and read it I'm pretty sure that was the AA that put on it oh god this is long fuck me my reading comprehension is going to be tested right now I I strap in hey yeah Max and George so when I was 19 I had a sugar daddy for about two years nice I enjoyed it at the time we had an intimate relationship proper dates sex and really getting to know each other but things eventually ended I'm now 25 and I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for about 10 months. The time came to meet his parents and I recognized his father. No. <laughs> no. 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 My boyfriend's father was my sugar daddy from six years ago. No. <laughs> this isn't real. This is fucked. Okay. We recognized each other instantly, but obviously said nothing. So, I really need some advice. I love my boyfriend and everything is in the past. If I tell him, it's oh. more than likely to not only ruin our relationship, but also his parents' relationship. So that's not ideal. On the other hand, I could just ignore the whole situation and never say anything. The past is the past and I can't change it, so why bring it up? Much love to you boys loving the pod. All right. You can't ignore that situation. You can't ignore that. Are you taking the piss? That's... So, uh, so, no, wh- what? That is meant. Can we? Oh, first of all, I read that really well. I read that with so no mistake. So you want mistakes. me to congratulate twenty? Please. Cr- congratulate a, oh, right. I'm better than you. Want you want me to congratulate a twenty-four-year-old man on being able to read a, uh, an yes, email? Yes, go on. And well done, Max. Thank you. Didn't you. sound like um, you were struggling. What the actual? That was mental. Hell is going I on? Don't there? Know. <laughs> can <laughs> you imagine? You can't. You can't. You just can't, I can't imagine. No, but no, as in like you. You can't pretend nothing's happened if you have the ability to pretend that you haven't literally slept with numerous times your boyfriend's dad wow for money as well imagine for money imagine yeah Yeah. you've been with andrew for this all this time Mm -hmm. and then he goes oh by the way max i slept with your dad like six years ago like numerous times that's really hot what i'm joking (laughs) (laughs) no what yeah that is mad i don't think i mean i would instant break up yeah Instant never speaking to my dad again. Yeah. Because, like, that means he's secretly gay and he's been shagging my boyfriend and he knew and they, they've that's, both known. That's mental because if if you two never got together... With, wow. I mean, it's oh. it's not it's not wrong until they it's got not wrong together. It's until they got together. But then... But then he has been cheating on his wife with... So that's uh, wrong. 19. That is that's, wrong. That is, that's wrong. Don't that cheat on your wife Don't with a 19-year-old. Do, do it like 22, yeah, 23 22, 23, yeah. whatever. Um, that is wild. Um, I once... That's a really sticky situ because they had no idea of... It. Surely you do better background. It's not How her fault, know? though. It's not her fault. It's the dad's fault. The dad is the one to blame. I once yeah. slept with a man. Nice. And when well I... Done, man. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> What's that? Why are you doing like that at all? And um, when I left, he messaged me, thank God you just left. My wife came home. Bear in mind, I was like 17 years old plowing this man's asshole. Nice. I'm never getting on Strictly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that, Claudia. Claudia Winkle, man. She watches. He was putting his winkle in a man. I was. Um, what the hell, though? And, and yeah, that happened. First of all, pedo for him. Not pedo, I was like, 19. No, I was 17. Oh, yeah, pedo for you. But not for me. Like I was pedoed on. You got pedoed. You were yeah. the PD. Pediatrician. Yeah. Pediatrician. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. Hmm, ain't much to think about. Anyway, wrong. Yeah. Brexit. I Either think leave you your have wife. To oh, I don't even raise know. It. I say first speak to the dad. Say Right. How are we going about this? What's because going on? Because we need to say something. Yeah. Oh my you god. You speak to blackmail. mommy. I speak to daddy. Blackmail. Daddy being the boyfriend. Blackmail, right? blackmail, mm. blackmail. Your dad. Where? Oh my god, no no. <laughs> Shut up. This is such a good opportunity. <laughs> this is actually... Wait, wait, This is a really great opportunity because you can blackmail the dad. He's not going to want you to tell anybody. Yeah. He's obviously rich because he used to be your sugar daddy. Right. He can be giving you money for you to stay quiet. Yeah. Because if you say anything, wife's ruined, son's ruined, everybody's relationships are ruined. Whereas you could just profit off this and stay in the same lane with your boyfriend. I mean, yeah, it's... it's- that's always really going to end idea. up. But it's always going to end up you breaking up if they find out. So yeah. if, they, if they find out and you've also just been getting money off them to keep you quiet, it doesn't then it really doesn't matter. really add much no. to it, does it? No. At the end of the day, it's just like it is what it is. Like, so, so, so it says, Andrew comes and says, "Oh, I've been I've been shagging your dad. I shagged your dad behind your back." Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, what's your reaction to that initially? Oh my god, I'm so upset. Oh, what? How did I? He's how been did paying I... me to not tell you. How much? 
That's your answer. That is the answer. Interesting. How much? Um, if it's 50 quid Well, he had dip, it in a briefcase, so that swayed me to be a, make it lower. Fair enough. That makes <laughs> sense. Um, if it is over, it depends how long this has been going on. If it is over the sum of like ten to 20,000 pounds. A what? I'd say... How, in what oh, term? Oh, a what? Maybe a year. Yeah. I'd say give me half now. And if you've spent it, what on? Because you didn't spend it on me, you yeah. lazy bitch. Um, give me half now, otherwise I'm suing you for blackmail. Can you do that? You can't do that. Can no. somebody get arrested for blackmail? No. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Right, that is you something don't give that me you half. could get arrested I, for. Oh god. I am <clears throat> gonna cry a lot. Yeah, that's no arrests involved. But... I am going to be really, really cross. Yeah, again, no arrests. And just... I'll arrest myself in the name of the law if you do not give me half of that money it's now. It's a bit of an interesting threat. I'm going to put myself in cuffs. Yeah. Maybe he'll like it. Maybe he will. Um, but no, yeah. I say you have to speak to... I would, You don't have to speak to the father first. It has to be spoken about. I would speak to the father first and say, look, daddy, um, there's no sugar going on here anymore because no. none of this situation's sweet. You ain't getting none of this candy. Yeah, sudden, suddenly we're from Essex. Yeah. You ain't getting none of this candy none anymore. Of this candy. You need to speak to mum, say, I'll yeah. speak to your son. Yeah. And it looks like, oh, this is over. Yeah. When we're done, meet me round back. Yeah. Yeah, that's so what you need to say. I agree. But unfortunately, um, I think it's best to raise it early. It's been six months. Yeah. Best raise it early now <laughs> before things get a little bit more serious. Yeah. And the repercussions become fruity. Absolutely. Stop burping. What? I didn't do that. Burpy boy. Anyway, I can hear the phone ringing. Hi, Max and George. So basically, Hi. I live with my boyfriend at his family house. Mm -hmm. um, and for Valentine's Day, I bought him like a little towel that oh. has cum rag embroidered on it. Oh. thought it was quite funny. Um, so we used this That's on nice. Valentine's Day. And then I didn't want to put it in the wash basket because his mum would see it. So I put it underneath like a carrier bag, just like in the corner of the room, just so, we, just so she didn't find it. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I get home hoping to obviously put it in the wash. Mm. I lifted the bag up, not there. Oh. So we look everywhere for this cum rag, nowhere to be found. It's now a month later, over a month later, still can't find it. I feel so awkward because I know his mum has seen it. I don't know what to do. Please help. Oh, is it weirder that the, if the mum has seen it? She's confiscated it and not given it back. Yeah, that is very weird. I mean, my first thought was mum's put it in the wash, but if it's been over a month, yeah. mum's using it. Ooh, I don't know about using it. Mum's using it. Mum is wiping up that jizz. Confirmed. Confirmed? Kill confirmed. Confirmed. Oh, God. The cum must have... actually By the time that she got to it, the cum must have firmed up. The cum's firmed? It has. Oh, my God, I bet it could snap in half. How much is on there? A lot by the sound of her voice. What the hell does that I don't mean? know. Can you imagine if you oh my god. What? Teenage boys so disgusting. Don't I'm imagine sorry. Teenage boys, Max. I want to not have a boy child. I do. Because I know how much I Why did you say that Oliver Twist? <laughs> I want to not have a boy child, I do. <laughs> I just want I just want a girl. In fact, two girls they'll fight. Uh, maybe That's the I want first time you've ever said that. <laughs> it is. I just want to have a girl. Maybe I want one boy, one girl. But either way, if the girl is heterosexual, she's going to have a boy coming over that's going to come everywhere. Why is there so much cum in the world? I mean, you are a fine one to talk as a gay couple. <laughs> that is actually true. I remember the first time. You can't time be having cum in our house. I remember. From two little cum producers. When I was with my first ever boyfriend and this was like the first time I'd ever had like a relationship with anybody where I'd like been sexual with them like multiple times Yeah. and I literally rang my friend and I was like there's so much cum everywhere all the time <laughs> <laughs> I was like there just is like think about one person there's two of us I guess and there's so much cum everywhere I guess that is the case because like everywhere obviously you're both just doing it just coming everywhere and girls can't come no Can I mean they? in your experience I don't think they do, but I'm pretty sure that they can. Can they? Yeah, that's quite upsetting. Oh. Um, moving on. So much semen. So much. And it's too much. Sometimes it's too much, to be completely honest. That's very open of you. Thank you. Yeah. That. That's very kind. 
Um, um, I'm trying to get on Strictly, so... Um, Strictly Come Dancing. Oh, well. Well, well, well. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> at the moment, it's not dancing. It's your room is just Strictly Come. <laughs> God. <laughs> it is. It is. It's not. It's not, Claudia. It's not. Um, I think, say to mom, right... Are you and dad? Oi, where's my rag? Yeah, where's my cum rag? Have you ever had a cum rag? I've never been. When that she said person. it's been nicely embroidered, I was like, oh, a nice little message. Cum rag. Yeah, that's not a nice message. Embroider that. It? Just stick it on. Mm. I've never been one to have a cum rag. Like I would just use tissues because I'm like I don't really want a designated towel because that seems unsanitary. I've always, I've always thought this about people that say they do it in a sock. Oh my god! Why would you yeah. do it in a sock? And then and then they're like, oh, that's my cum sock, as oh, in like they so reuse gross. it that or something. Is, that actually makes me feel. Like, do you Ill. reuse a cum sock? Is that how it works? I think so. Yeah. That's absolutely. That is vile. wild. Like, Even using it once is like weird. The thought of like actually wrapping a sock around my penis as well doesn't entice me in any way. <laughs> like uh, uh, that is wild. That is actually wild to me. That is wild. I I, I don't want to be jizzing in any items of clothing. It doesn't. Does it? Is it? Cum pr- not waterproof, not obviously, cum-proof. but is it, is it cum-proof? I mean, it would just harden over time, surely. Oh, so distressing. What I would say is, confront mom, say, have you been using my cum rag? Oh, that's a weird sentence to lead that up That is with. a weird just sentence. Just as you're saying it, your boyfriend goes, I've had... Oh. Yeah, that is Ooh, a very weird found sentence. It. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I, yeah, that. no, I'm upset <clears throat> at the thought of that. Maybe just admit defeat and get a new one. And if it goes missing again... Then you can do a hunt. Have you not so snooped around the, the bedroom? Who's the rag thief? Yeah. Have you got someone? a dog that's got a, got a sniff for the old jizzy... Oh. Mm. Mm. Maybe he's got a taste for oh, the man juice. Oh, man juice. That is just <laughs> not good. <laughs> that is not good. What about baby batter? Oh. Never heard that. Isn't that gross? Isn't that gross? Baby batter? Man milk. Oh, man milk. I don't like that. What about, um, I was about to say cornstarch. That's. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of like um, chicken and sweet corn soup. Have you ever had it? It's very. Thick. Why the hell's there sweet corn in there? Well, there's not, unless you've got something wrong with you, to be honest. Very with you. wrong with very you. Very wrong. And the chicken. Yeah, That's lumps like... of chicken and sweet corn. Might of... order a Chinese. Cream tonight. of mushroom. A little bit. <laughs> and really. you say it like that when it, when it happens. Have Cream ever, of mushroom. Have you ever tasted your own semen? Mm, no. No, me neither. Why would no? But <laughs> no, but you I have. have. No, but you have. I've not. You have no proof. <laughs> no, but you have. I've not. You have no. You have. You have no factual Mark, evidence. To look, support. look me in the eye without I dousing your I'm problems crossing. in alcohol pops. Look at me in the eye. I'm, tra- I'm cross-eyed. Right. Okay. I'm cross. Look at me in the eye and tell me that you've never tasted. I've never your tasted own my own man jizzers. I've never I never once got curious and thought what does that taste like why is it coming out of me what even is this and tried it and was really upset I'd never done that never once if you were to have done that how would you have gone about it I probably would have <laughs> I don't want to talk about it <laughs> no please I don't want to talk about it just please. it's not true you have no proof you've literally come this far so you might as well you don't know what I get up to in my spare time you have no that is proof what worries me actually <laughs> You have no proof, and it's it's not true. I'd like to move on. Thank you. I can hear the phone ringing. <laughs> that was handy. I can hear Speaking the phone of handies. <laughs> I can hear it well. Wait, we just had one of these. I can actually hear an email. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> is that the is that the hyper optic? I think we've actually enough? got an email, yeah. <laughs> oh God. Do you know what I just typed then? You just typed, I'm George, and I drink my own cum. Drink it. Would you argue... Right, we... I'm, I'm, like I'm custard. not getting on Strictly. I'm Cust- not. Cust- you don't drink custard. Right, let's test your reading. I bet I do better than you. I bet you mess it up. I okay. You all, you actually probably mess it up more than me. Only because I try and make it fun. Yeah, well, I don't have to because I just have fun. So, no train involved. Hello. Hi. Good. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. This is not a dilemma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. This is not a dilemma for me, but oh. more for George. Oh. Brilliant. Thank you very much for that. Well needed. Now I know there is a running joke about George being single. And the mm. other day I was just having a look at both of your Instagrams. Oh. And I was scrolling through George's and noticed the issue. Go on. It's a bit rude. Um, George Face. wears jean shorts. Jorts. Also known as jorts. Oh my god, I love or it. Or if when you're Max, jorts. jorts. 
<laughs> this is a mudger issue. That's mudger. No A in that. Ah, dumb fuck. Uh, so this is a mudger issue and honestly makes me feel quite sick. Hmm. From an outsider's perspective, George is objectively... Oh, I can't read that. You'll have to read that for me. First line of the... Ugly as fuck and not funny. There we go. That's quite rude. Um, so could get a girlfriend if he wanted. Not saying he wants to, but I feel he should know. If at any point he decides he wants one, he should burn the jorts. <laughs> As a female, I know no woman who would go near a man who's wearing them unironically. Hopefully this helps you on your journey. I'd right. like to make this clear. The jorts have been burned. I, I only wore them out of, like, I, I, they're the only shorts I have. George, I'm wear? a jorts defender. Let me say this right now. What else am I supposed to wear? It's hot. It's hot outside. I can tell you, they are not. <laughs> It's hot. I'm in a, maybe I'm in a foreign country, okay, yeah. where the climate is different. Global warming, all right? I think that's just global. Absolutely. No need for global warming. Fair Climates enough. have always been different. Okay, I'll accept that. Um, I want to wear jeans, but I can't because it's too hot. Yeah. I'm going to wear my jorts. I'm looking into the camera. I'm going to wear my jorts. And if you have an issue with that, then you have an issue with fashion because jeans are in fashion. Tell me why if I expose my calf... My beautiful hairy calf. It's a crime. I say we fight back. Jorts. In, in, jorts. <laughs> jorts. No, say it with me, in, jorts. In, jorts. In, uh, uh, to play devil's advocate, in arguments to, you know, to rhetoric, to wrap uh, back to that, mm -hmm. um, you said jeans are in fashion. Yes. So why can't jorts be? Mm-hmm. At what level do you take that? How high up do the jorts have to become before it's unacceptable? Can you wear a pair of jean Y fronts and it be okay because jeans are okay? I believe that just above the knee jorts are perfectly fine. And if, I'm not talking up? about hot jorts. If you want, do you know what? If you want to get that lower little, what's this? Is it saying any higher up? Oh, if you want, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get. That thigh out, by all means, get that thigh out. For me personally, Honestly, I'm going to go... Honestly, I've asked this many times off camera. I'm, it's not happening. Personally, I'm going to go just above the knee. I'm not going to go any lower because then that crosses territory into a three-quarter <laughs> length trouser. Are you talking to me, Max but <laughs> That crosses into a three-quarter length jean. Oh, three-quarter lengths are a no They go. are a no-go. Um, there you go. I told you I know fashion. And jorts, I just think, what else do you want? I can't wear jogger shorts because that's not fancy Chino enough for where shorts. we're going. I think black jorts are definitely nice. Black jorts. Chino shorts. Cargo shorts. See, I see chino shorts and I think made in Chelsea. I think rugby boy. I think X, Y, and Z that I don't really put myself into the category of. I'm more of an easygoing, relaxed, fashionable, handsome, six foot five, beautiful, well-endowed man who wears jorts. And that is who I am. And I'm not going to change just because... That dumb person who can't even spell the word major nice. is telling me that they're not good. Do you know what I mean? If you're talking about major issues, as far as I'm concerned, that, that's a major issue. It is. There's no A in there. Short out your spelling. Jorts are a minor issue. Yeah. Because he looks like a kid when he's in them. I do. Um, I do. <laughs> More, moving on. Um, we got a... Oh! Can Some, we hear that Someone's well? bell's out. The phone's out. The phone's ringing. Hi Max and George. Hi. I just had a bit of a dilemma because everyone I've ever dated seems to have about. like really weird kinks. Okay. So my ex girlfriend had an M preg kink, which was what? male pregnancy, obviously. But oh. my current boyfriend of two years, he he's got um, a raw kink, so he wants to be eaten. And I didn't really know about this like when I first started dating him, just but it's kind of coming to play more now but than before. It's a bit like. But I've been thrown into the deep end and I'm not really sure how to handle it since um, I'm definitely not into that. So what can you suggest? Thank you. Is she wow. saying, do we need to give her a kink? Like, or what, what is she saying? She, how does she deal with other people having them and she doesn't? Or how does she get her first kink? Like, what, what is this? I don't know. And I'm not trying to kink shame. But if someone's into male pregnancy, that is an interesting one. Do you know what I mean? I have had many a meal and been many a bloat. Who's a meal? after it um i went to high school with Juan, him but you never told me about I went, I went to high school with him um and i've been bloated many a time and the idea that that could turn somebody on because i could be classed under the mpreg umbrella i by the way also i, like I, it, I, I don't think mpreg 
is as widely known as you think it is. No, the fact that they said, it, which is obviously male pregnancy, yeah. I'd, I'd have to disagree. That isn't too. It wasn't wasn't obvious to no, me. No, I heard M preg and I thought. Uh, like an emperor egg it sounded like some it, sort of maths equation like i wasn't I'm getting doing the, I'm, I'm, sit, I'm doing my empreg exams today yeah i guess if you put exams after it i would get more yeah maths, but i feel like you'd get that if you add exams uh, the end of, what about, of course you know men can become pregnant if they are trans men who still have female reproductive organs true then they can nice. we're not discrediting that we're just saying um that if you're into that then you're cutting down your options quite a lot you are so that's quite a difficult kink to be attracted but that must be again, a hard life i reckon you are also cutting, cutting your options down quite a lot to men that enjoy being eaten is yeah. that just like mm. sort of oh eat me mm. or is it like Can go on have a chomp i would like you to me. i would like to eat, to bite out my thigh yeah do you remember army hammer no, I don't. He was a famous actor, I want to say. Very, very famous. And he not got exposed. He well, he got exposed for Cheeky. cutting ex girlfriends and being very physically abusive. And it basically got found out that he has a cannibalism kink. And that's with, not a kink, is it? That's just being that's a against cannibal. the law. And um, one of his ex girlfriends, he tried to pay for a rib to get removed what? so that he could eat it. If you put kink after it, does it make anything okay? I agree with that. Right, okay. So, Obviously. Oh, my mate Dave's got a paedophile kink. That's I, not a kink. I once asked on Twitter, I was like, right, okay. Obviously, we're told time and time again that we cannot kink shame, but yeah. where do we draw the line? And someone was like, whatever somebody is into is none of your business. I'm like, if they are into necrophilia or paedophilia, and they're just like, no, that's Max, my that's kink. just their kink, though. Then why can I not shame them? I know we're not supposed to kink shame, but I want to shame you. If you want to shag a child, I want to shame you quite... Quite severely, to Whoa. be honest with you. Hot take. Only hot takes here on these. Literally, though. But, like, <laughs> the fact that that could be actually a hot take, that we're not allowed to kink shame someone who could be into murdering, cannibalism, killing, I think like... As, so, as, so long as your kink is a legal... Harmful. Is a legal kink, mm. then it's fine. But, like, what about things that are detrimental to your health? Like, that person who called in who wanted to someone to shit inside of them, yeah. in their mouth and in their anus... That can no, we not shame like, you a little bit because that means that you're like really detrimenting your health? I, I think it's less shaming, more sort of concern. concern. That's yes, I agree. I'm yeah. not being like, whoa, weirdo. I'm also being like, are you all right? Like, is everything okay functioning still? I mean, I can't imagine it is if you're getting shit in you every day. Oh, that's one of my biggest fears. Someone what, shitting, someone in, shitting in you, yeah, as in. Like, you're scared that it'll happen. I don't know, but, like, I, I think that's one of the biggest things like in my life. something you have to allow to happen. Sick. Oh, I thought you meant, like, everyone has to go through it. It's like jury duty. You'll get you'll get you'll a letter get in the cold. post one day, Max. One day it'll happen. Wow. Yeah. Do you know, with um, gay men obviously doing anal... Obviously. I've, I've never had this happen to me. You've never had anal? I, I mean, I have, actually, shockingly, quite a few times. Wow, breaking news. Um, and my oh, i don't know if i should say this yeah i will do my boyfriend andrew <laughs> told me that there was this one person who tried to speak to me before i met andrew right. and then when i met andrew andrew was like oh my god like he's a weirdo and this guy was very persistent especially after me and andrew met and would like come over to us in clubs and everything mm. it was really quite weird even though it was obvious that neither of us were interested and Silly we are boy. together and um andrew told me he was like i got with him one time and like we had like sex in a bathroom and he shit all over me and i was horrified and andrew was like like went home like nearly in tears oh. and he was mortified might have to cut that out i'll let you know um oh. but yeah so that that is a very real thing that happens so the next time i see this boy and he tries anything i'll go you shit on my boyfriend and that's you know i mean it happens and it, it is what it yeah, is I, I feel like r rarely it happens it does happen quite rarely yeah um like i said it's never happened to me by the grace of god i might shit everywhere right now i'm never getting on strictly am i no, i don't think you're uh, oh I, I really wanted I don't to think get on strictly. i don't think it's this episode that's i think it might be that's oh i love strictly Scott, like struck your chances of strictly producers don't watch don't watch don't do now, it you don't put you don't put the the trigger warning at the end of yeah, the episode. Yeah, that's true, isn't it? Oh, gosh. Oh, well. 
We'll see. We'll We've see. got another email, I think, and the thing, I, if is just, this the ju- last just one? judging by um, what the email looks like on my computer right now, I think it's a good one. Okay, I'll try my best. I'll try my absolute best. Can't make any promises though. Not got my glasses on. Bring your mic with you when you. Okay. When it comes through. Okay, I will do. Right, I'll put it towards the printer. Here we go. Here, here, here it is. Here she is. Okay. <laughs> well, that was right. A bit of a laugh. I, that, I think I'm gonna need a drink. He needs the milk. <clears throat> Help! I pray you guys see this. What the fuck do we do? Fuck was in capitals. That's why I said it like that. You look nice. Um, Thank you. I'm going to have to change some names. So I'm Doreen and my friend is Margaret. Nice. We live with our friend Sandra who invited her friend Frankie round for a night out. They had left without making a bread on the sofa for Frankie. Margaret and I decided that we should because we're good, kind people. This was the wrong decision. Margaret went up to grab some pillows to throw down to me. She got into Sandra's room and started calling my name in a very panicked laugh. I ran up the stairs and saw Margaret told and ran up it's got me i ran up the stairs and saw margaret holding two pillows from the bed i looked down in terror to see a large gold sparkling tentacle what it was about (laughs) it was about 60 centimeters long and we both stood in shock two rulers we proceeded to laugh for the next 30 minutes but end all decided to put the pillows back and pretend it never happened how do we ever look sandra in the eyes again out of curiosity we had to google it to figure out what the f that thing was after an in-depth research we found it is that a dildo tentacle dildo a tentacle dildo 60 centimeters long that's that is, very long that is a also it's ruler. very it's very floppy and it doesn't and normally wow. when he looks at dildos it's very hard <laughs> <laughs> wow that is gonna not only go inside of someone but like wiggle its way in through their everything. Yeah. Surely, because that's why it's so floppy. Wow. Why would you want a flopper? I don't know. Because that's not going to like do anything that I imagine would cause you pleasure. It's just going to fill you up. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just going to fill your insides up. Wow. I, okay. I <clears throat> don't. I. I never knew they were a thing. I didn't either. Tentacle. Um, but good for them. Honestly, if you've got a tentacle dildo that is that long and it fits inside you, send us a picture into the useless hotline. Send us a video of you using it. Send us a pic on, uh, um, Insta- on actually, our Instagram. Thank you. You and your tentacle dildo. My God, that is absolutely. Me wild, and Max will be going through and rating them. <laughs> Shall we? I yeah. will. Um, we rate while you gyrate. <laughs> Ooh. I think, well done to you. If you can get that inside you, that's an accomplishment in itself. So I say you tell Margaret, right, I'm going to be honest with you, we found your tentacle. Was it Margaret? Sandra, one of the Frankie and names. Sandra, I believe, Maybe was Frankie. the two that were going out in. Then it's Margaret and Doreen. Some of us listened to yeah. the... Sandra, actually. Yeah, no, I did. I said Sandra and, you and Frankie. You and said then the I said way. Margaret and Doreen were the others. Okay, you did. That's fine. Um, I say Sandra kudos because you can fit an entire octopus tentacle up your ass mm. or wherever that's going and in that your is octopus in, in your octopus um Not really happy i though. fear for you because again something that i can't relate to being able to do pleasure a woman yes yes <laughs> absolutely yeah although my um I'm not even going to say No, it. go on, give it a go. I was going to say my penis was equally as floppy when engaging in intercourse with a woman, but... Well, that's understandable. Yeah. You didn't even like it. That's true. Oh, God. Flashbacks. Bless them, though. Love women. Just don't want to shag them. much. Just don't want to shag them. Mm. I actually prefer women to men. Do you? Yeah, I hate you so much. Oh, my God. I literally can't even put it into words. But you do want to... No, that's... I don't yeah, no, it. I don't... Uh, yeah, let's stop there. Yeah, 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 I yeah, think... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think you have an opportunity here. I mean, first of all, we don't want to kink shame. It's got a sucker on it. Stick it to the ceiling. Ooh. So when they walk in through the door, <gasps> it's in the forehead. That's great. That is great. <laughs> that's really great. I think... Um, Number one option. Put it back. Pretend it never happened. It is what it is. Put it back in the bed. Not in you. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. Number two. Decorative possibilities. I say tuck it in bed. 
Oh. Head, it's it's head, head on the out. pillow. That's great. And tuck it into bed. That is great. So that they know, but not enough that they would ask you about it because they might yeah. be a bit eek. Sorry, I just need the bed. But yeah, I think that that's I think that's great advice. Wow, what a tentacle. Yeah. What a tentacle. Good for them. Good for you, Sharon, Doreen, Kathleen. Can't remember. Um, I once went on a cruise. Nice. The only cruise I've ever been on. And there was this woman called Kathleen. Right. And there was a club on this cruise okay. that was all ages. Nice. So you could be like nine and be in this club. So I really understand there were all ages. It, was, it wasn't a real club, let's be honest. Yeah. And there was this woman that was there by herself every night. And we asked her what her name was. She was called Kathleen. Right. One night she got really drunk. And for every dance move, she would go... So we called Just her Karate Karate Kathleen. Nice. Karate Kathleen. And then she pissed on the dance floor. Right. It was excellent. She was like mid chop and it spurted out. Oh. And it was just phenomenal. Karate Kathleen, if you're out there. That's a... Call in. We're standing by. Wow. Yeah. Karate piss. Yeah. Oh, it was so... It was it was amazing. So much laughter happens. An impressive feat. Yeah. Um, so I think I think we've I think we've done well today. I think that this was a great episode, and I feel like we've helped a lot. Of it people. was an episode. I'll give you that. It was an episode indeed. has been had. It has. Um, if you would like to send in a dilemma to us, then please do so via our Instagram at the useless hotline pod or to our email at. Can't remember what it is. Go on. You email say it. the useless hotline pod. Cast cast at, at gmail.com. Gmail. That's the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com. And send in your audio ones to the Instagram and your written ones to the email. And also follow us on Instagram because you might yeah. miss out that we're doing a live show. Give Who us knows? a follow on Instagram and our personals. Yeah. Give us a sub on YouTube. Oh. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and comment. Let us know what you thought of the episode. What should they say if they've got this far? If you've got this far, then please say how on earth did George fit that entire tentacle up his dot 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 nice nice I like Um, that if you're listening on Spotify you've probably already clicked off (laughs) Um, (laughs) give us a five star rating download our episodes if you see them coming Mm -hmm. up so you can lift them on the go Uh, follow us yeah and that is all word see ya